it's been mentioned before that, you know, this is an emergency use uh, authorization. This didn't go through the formal process of approval. Therefore, it's experimental. Therefore, we're using the public as guinea pigs. Um, that is definitely not the way I would phrase it, but how would you answer that? Well, like Dr. Evans just mentioned, you know, they've been through formal testing. They've had to go through all of the testing like any other vaccine has. Um, and, you know, COVID-19 is not the first coronavirus pandemic that we face in our lifetime. Again, like Dr. Evans said, the SARS and the MERS um, outbreaks of 2003 and 2012, the coronavirus vaccines were started back then. So these vaccines have been studied for well over 20 years. Um, the companies like Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson didn't have to start from scratch. They had um, science and technology then that they were able to build off and test out these vaccines for us. And, um, you know, we've talked about the efficacy of the vaccines. In Carroll County, we know of less than 10 people that have been vaccinated and been through their two weeks or, you know, through their vaccine series and been reinfected with um, COVID again. So based on the, over the 8,000 people that we vaccinated in Carroll County, you know, we could see that number as high as 400. So less than 10 is great. So we know that the vaccines are doing their job and doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I believe we've actually seen this reproduced outside of our locale also, that in real, in real world scenarios, we're seeing better than a 95% uh, efficacy rate as far as people reporting positive symptomatic COVID after a, a full completion of a vaccination protocol. And that might be because in a uh, trial situation, you know, the Pfizer and the Modernas were closely following up all their trial patients to make sure that they didn't get COVID again, where we could have some asymptomatic COVID, but still we have less than 10 uh, after 8,000 vaccines. We are far above a 95% efficacy uh, just in Carroll County. Right, which is so great. It's it's our way to get back to normal and take back our summer and get back to what we should be doing. 